My name is Piers Kalea. I've been making films for the past 12 years that explore innovations in storytelling, different approaches to spirituality, and more recently, multicultural stories about identity, belonging, and human rights. My current project, My Room in Tehran is Called America, is a documentary feature that details a female Iranian artist's journey to a life without censorship in modern-day Iran, before and during the current female-led protests and includes interviews with other Iranian artists in diaspora who relate their journeys and reflections on what is happening in the country. Hava, a female Iranian artist, is torn between staying in a country and culture she has always known and leaving for the United States to finally be afforded a life without censorship, toiling during the day in one life and journaling at night to dream in another. The film documents her struggles, first in Iran, then Istanbul, where she waits for a visa to America. Parts memoir, travelogue, and love story, My Room is a real-life handmaid's tale that lifts the veil on a woman faced with a difficult choice on her journey to freedom in modern-day Iran. Since this film is timely, I will be traveling in December to various places around the world for interviews. This will require a lot of funds in air travel, camera equipment rentals, and lodging expenses. Our hope is to raise at least $20,000 in support to help in this next phase of production and allow for us to capture footage as our story has grown to include an entire country's battle cry for women, life, and freedom. This journey for freedom and safety has been something I have valued greatly being an Iranian immigrant. I recognize the sacrifices my parents made coming to the United States shortly before the Islamic Revolution. I have witnessed many relatives and friends who have suffered and made incredible journeys to be afforded female autonomy, equality, freedom of speech, and a life without censorship. Since Hava has already been in limbo for the past two and a half years, and the various routes toward her potential immigration to the United States could require a prolonged wait time, offering support would greatly help both the film and the artist at this crucial time when all hope seems lost. We are also keenly aware that media representation of what has been happening in Iran has barely been broadcast in the West and that the Islamic regime itself is paying $37 million per day to prevent its citizens from having internet and sharing the horrible atrocities that are currently happening as young protesters, human rights activists, artists, and writers are being tortured, imprisoned, and killed as they fight for their freedom. Our hope is that by shining a light on Haba's story and the countless others who will share similar stories along with the protest footage in the country, that this film will bring an understanding and empathy to the dangers of totalitarianism and help all of us understand the power of freedom and the shared responsibility we have to those who do not have such rights. Thank you so much for your interest and support. It has been because of your continued lifting that these films have been made and we have had an opportunity to create dialogue and possibilities for change, empathy, and understanding. Please consider donating, sharing the link with others, and spreading the word about my room in Tehran is called America.